Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Cameron Felix and I am everyone's go-to consultant on how to live your most effortlessly fabulous lifestyle. In today's video, I will be showing you approximately seven outfits for fall 2021. Looks, darling. So whether you're male, female, I think you can at least grab a little something from this video on how to give yourself a little bit more oof, a little zhuzh, you know, a little something extra on your outfits like me. If this is your first time here, please don't forget to subscribe. Have you seen anything this fabulous? I have yet to give my uh, dressing room, glam room, finish your room tour yet. So subscribe so you can know when that happens. It's finished. I just have a couple more things to do, but I think I'm going to do the tour, the tour before then. Um, I have a portion of my house tour filmed um, and I have a couple other videos. I do post a video every single week. Now I did take a little hiatus because I was a little bit busy and depressed, but we're back and we're happy. And no, we're not on Lexapro or Xanax or anything. It's just a natural happy high, okay? So I want to start this video off basically telling you guys um, one of my favorite outfits of the summer I'm wearing. And actually this hat I got towards the end of the summer. So these sunglasses, you've seen them on my channel before. They are Saint Laurent, love them. They totally give me everything I ever wanted. Hat, ASOS, it's a trucker hat. So it's netted on the back, love this. Bag, as you know, there's videos on my channel about the bag. Shoes wise, these shoes, now they are taking, they have a little beating going on. One's not bad. Um, and I probably should get the rubber redone, but these are from Bloomingdale's. I got them a couple summers ago. They're absolutely my favorite shoe. They were my favorite shoe to wear this summer, especially here uh, in Texas. And um, they're just great. As it is hot in Texas, so I am showing you guys outfits that people would wear not only in Texas or could wear, but in colder places too, because I do have Jack. Welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, please subscribe to my channel, you guys. Um, I do at least one video a week on lifestyle, fashion, and beauty. Um, lifestyle including home decor, traveling, Honey, it's all about the lifestyle. Wait, what's that song? You know what I'm talking about. I'm slowly but surely changing my name, my handle. So Cameron Felix Garrison is how you can find me on Instagram. Um, and I think Twitter and my link tree and all those things. It's linked on my Instagram, but at Cameron Felix Garrison, um, because actually by the end of the year, I hope to have my name fully changed. I've been married for about five years now. So I guess you all should be a ride. Give me a ride for us to make me get five years married. So you don't wait for our husband in five minutes. No, you don't. So you guys, these shorts are Joe jeans. I purchased them, I think at Nordstrom Rack in Virginia Beach. And so for outfit number one, I just finished off with my E. Saint Laurent um, lip oil. Number 22, they don't sell this anymore. Um, a couple videos, I or a few videos back I talked about this. Um, I got it for my birthday, I think. I think it's in my birthday video. I'll link that below. First outfit, you guys. So I am wearing my Doc Martens, black on black, of course. So this is my first outfit. Probably one of the only few black outfits. I am wearing me, my Doc Martens with these. Um, socks are actually from Amazon. I'll link those below as well, and I'll link the shoes as well. Um, if I can find them. Shorts, you got Doc Martin black on black fisherman shoes. Um, the socks, Amazon, obviously, sheer little number. Shorts, Air Postal, I know who shops there, but these shorts fit, so here we are. Um, they're ripped, obviously. Sweatshirt, but it has a surprise on the back. Uh, now this here, you guys, the blazer. It is East Saint Laurent. I got it for guess how much? Can you see the pinstripes on it? One dollar. I went to a store. She said anything under ten is a dollar. Found this and a couple other blazers. Um, it's fabulous. So, topped it off, of course, with Christian Dior 
um, black on black matte Dior camps. And this hat is the trucker hat from ASOS. Um, I think it was like under $7. So look number one for fall 2021. It is all about layering. Now there is a surprise you guys. Are you ready for the bag is from White House Black Market and I topped it off with my favorite HRH collection, which girl, she's shophrh.co on Instagram now. This bag chain, she's the one who started the bag chain trend and all that. Um, this is hers. Very great quality. Oh my God, I said that and I thought I saw something breaking, but it's not. Great quality. Um, this bag is a satin bag. I guess they, I guess White House Black Market stole the design from the row. I found that out in a couple videos ago. I posted for you guys. Um, they probably still have it available. I actually just wore this to a wedding. I'm not sure if you can see the damage that I did to it, spilling lots of vodka and wine and everything on it, who cares? Um, but White House Black Market, if you're interested, it does come with this chain, and I do love mixing metals, as you can see. So yeah, first look here. This jacket, you guys, is um, by Top Man One. Next outfit. So try it on this with another out, like some other items, and it was in desperate need of Chanel. So I added some Chanel sunglasses, um, switched the pants out for the shorts instead of jeans, um, and then I had on Clarks, um, and I switched it up for. I was like, what would Diana wear? Diana would definitely throw on a loafer. So I brought in these um, ASOS loafers. Of course, what would Diana wear? This is her I'm a Luxury. If you can afford, brought back. I bought mine last year when they first were released um, at rowingblazers.com. Link will be below, you guys. Um, this is my Beach Birkin, obviously. I bought my sweater last year, you guys. Um, yeah, before all the hype. And you know, obviously, her movie, Spencer, is coming out, um, coming up in a couple weeks. I think November 5th. Be sure to check it out. Um, I'll link the trailer below. If you haven't seen the trailer, wow. Uh, Kristen Stewart is who's playing uh, Princess Diana. And she looks just like her, sounded just like her, better than the girl does on the other shows that she's been portrayed on recently. I paired it with these, I would call them vintage. I don't know if they are. These are my Chanel sunglasses, you guys. Um, they are brown. I would call this tortoise or Havana, I guess. Gold. I thought these were perfect. And then we have the Gucci, this is HRH collection jewelry, however, well, this bracelet is HRH collection, you guys. Um, it is 14 or 18 karat gold filled, I want to say. Anyways, um, and then I have here a necklace that I actually found at TJ Maxx that's the same exact length. A little bit size difference, but who gives a shit? And then I um, wrapped it up with this extra long uh, vintage necklace. Now, this blazer here is uh, Brooks Brothers. The shorts um, are $5 holler from H&M. Uh, the socks, the same socks, these ones are again from Amazon. And like I said, these loafers are my little loafers that I paid like less than 20 bucks for from ASOS or ASOS, whatever you want to call it. Um, this bag I've had for quite some time. This is like gonna be, I bet you you guys see this everywhere this fall. Everyone's gonna be wearing an outfit just like this, this fall. Guaranteed you're gonna see it on every publication. Um, I mean, it's Princess Diana. It's one of her iconic looks, okay? If I don't look like Princess Diana herself. Iconic sweater, if you don't have one, you better get one. Also, I just want to point this out, you guys. This video is not sponsored shoes. 
Um, like these cards are so comfy. I mean, business, party, business pleasure, everything you need, these shoes have it. We're layering tops. Both of these shirts are from J. Crew. I did get this shirt a long time ago, probably in 2012 or 13 from J. Crew. And I just looked at their website last week and it was on their website. It's 100% cotton. Um, chambray, I believe. Then this one on the next layer is the flannel I got from them a couple years ago. Of course, we topped it off with a little Chanel, 18 karat gold, still works, as you see, with or without the second layer. This is one of my favorite outfits, kind of to wear. Yeah, I mean, the back does have silver-ish hardware, but I don't mind that, to be honest. Um, these jeans are seven for all mankind. Sevens, if you want to sponsor me, seven for all mankind, Joe Jeans. I love ya. Sponsor me. J. Crew, you too, bitch. Okay. Bag vintage. This is my Aunt Joy's. She handed it to me. She actually told me I could borrow it, but I've had it for like three years. So do you call that borrowing? These are obviously my old faithful Chanel Gold. <gasps> Sunny bunnies block all the haters away with this. Every outfit needs a, just a little bit of Chanel, usually. And that just kicks it up and pops it off a notch. I've probably worn this outfit tens of times when I didn't know what else to wear uh, during the fall time. And since it's all the rage to layer these days, just pop one of these on you guys, or even a cardigan. Um, I should have brought my gray cardigan up here. That would have been really good with this. Next outfit. You could throw on I have my J. Crew monogrammed cardigan here. It's Sherpa, whatever. Not Sherpa, it's the faux Sherpa. I don't know. I don't know. It's hot, okay? So I thought I would just try this on for you guys so that you could see what it would look like. Because maybe the print on the outside was just a bit much and you could tone it down with this. You understand? So what do you think about this outfit? Much better when you agree with the jacket. Cause I was thinking like, I'm not as happy, but yeah, I like this. And then pops on the old sunnies. Now she's really talking business. I mean, you could wear this camping in Vermont or whatever you do, like an additional layer. I thought it was cute. I mean, I'm wearing Hermes orange, so what the hell? What I'm not here am I? It's back there. Kelly, one of you four. <laughs> of course, it's the you know you're Airman's lip balm, you all. I think about you all the time because you're the only medicine that I need. Can't you see? I mean, does this bag need an introduction, you guys? She doesn't need an introduction, right? <laughs> I mean, to take the kids, we're layering again, you guys. So this sweater, J. Crew, I got it um, a couple years ago, I would say, a few couple years ago. Sunglasses again, the Christian Dior Camp, Christian Dior, Christian Dior Camp. Showing them to the other camera over here for the folks. Um, these are in blue, matte blue, I believe, with black lenses or something like that. Um, and then on the shoes, um, I'm wearing my Clarks again, this time with no socks. Uh, and then my $5 H&M shorts. Um, this outfit, okay. So orange sweater, J. Crew um, shirt underneath. This is from Nordstrom, and it's, I think it's from their brand, 1901. Um, I got this a couple years ago. And then also, you guys, I'm always wearing this belt it is ralph lauren um it's reversible brown one side black the other so that is what i'm always wearing um so there's no complaints there i love gold black and brown um but yeah this outfit i mean i could just see myself taking my dog to the pumpkin patch this is probably definitely one of the outfits i'll wear to do that when we do that um, in the next coming up months um or if I was gonna do something, you guys, I would totally um, 
instead of wearing uh, a blue striped shirt under, I would wear a black striped shirt under this um, and then carry this bag as actually, I just didn't have a long sleeve black striped shirt. So to show you guys, so I gave you obviously the alternative, but I would love to have this bag with this outfit. I think that would be really cute at the pumpkin patch. Even this one though, to be honest, but I can't wait. This bag is gonna go places, you guys. If you haven't picked up one of these, you ought to. Um, obviously, I have my stuffing in it, and this is what I stuff all my bags with. Um, so yeah, I mean, the blue sunglasses to go with it though. And honestly, you guys, I'm over, like I keep wearing the same sunglasses with all my outfits, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's a little annoying, and these are dirty as hell. It's a little annoying to have so many anyways. I do have the private collection over here, darling, as Erica Jane would say. The private collection here, and inside of this drawer over here are some more. But I thought I'd gonna bring a couple out for this one. Uh, it's the old Gooch, honey. And then, you know, I had to break out my new Gucci sunglasses for you guys. Give you a close up over here. These are fabulous. It's giving me everything I need to be given. This outfit is, and so are these sunglasses. It's giving me everything that needs to be given. Hat, obviously, Washington with Gucci. Shoes. These are from a brand from Instagram, from EfrenStyle.com. I will link them below. And his website does always offer um, a special discount of some sort, um, but I got these a couple years ago. I wore these, you've seen them on my Instagram. Um, I wore them to something in the water, all in the beach, in the sand, at something in the water. Uh, these shoes have taken a beating and, you know, I've loved them. Uh, this bag, another Gucci bag from my Aunt Joy. Love her. She said I could borrow it, honey. <laughs> borrow it. All right, everyone. So first things first. Um, this jacket here is from H&M. Um, I got this before the Panorama. <laughs> before the Panda Danny. <laughs> before the pandemic, I believe I got this um, with in the last year, but it looks like really nice and new, so I must have worn it four times um, for it being from H&M. And then under, you guys, I have on this little number from H&M as well. It was like five or six dollars, maybe seven. Wait, I have the tag. This little number was $5.99, and I figured this could go under sweaters and stuff. Not really. Here's the tag to the H&M t-shirt that I'm wearing currently. Like, say I'm gonna be out at night, toss this bad boy on just like this. Do you like to look over the shoulders rather than on a little bit more? Um, then you could obviously, you know, switch out this bag, even if, say, if you're gonna go out, you could bring an additional bag inside of it. Something like this is what I would bring um, after work, you know, if you're gonna go out after work, this is what I would bring. Something similar to this, or something small, just to jazz it up, you know, nothing extra. <laughs> Always extra. Um, I would definitely have a couple drinks in this. This is perfect to sit out. Uh, this would be a good outfit to even wear to a baseball game in the fall. I mean, obviously somebody who wants this look, man or woman, can pull this off, you a great. Oh, yeah. Let me just give you guys a walk with this. I can even see myself wearing this to go pumpkin patching. I mean, actually not the right shoe. I could put a boot on, to be honest, a black boot. Slip a black boot on with these uh, shorts. And honestly, it's, for me, it's gonna be mostly shorts until it gets like, I guess it's gonna get unbearably cold, I don't know. We'll see here in South Texas, honey. everyone so next outfit I am wearing from top to bottom as you can see for my shoes over here 
um, a pair of Clarks in a funky, lovely green, seafoam green. I got these seafoam green. I got these a few years ago. Love these shoes, a pair of these shoes. Obviously, this is a Gap jeans, Gap factory jeans. I got these locally because I gained weight and I didn't want to go anywhere else and buy expensive jeans. So, went ahead and picked a pair of these up. Um, these jeans, I would roll them up as well. That could be another look with this, but whatever. Shirt J Crew, of course, it is. Um, they're broken in cotton. Um, one of my favorite, favorite. It's so soft, you guys, and obviously it matches. Had to bring out the beaky. And then to top her all off, we have a little Christian doll camps in gold with the blue lenses. But that's not enough, y'all. Here's my vintage Christian Dior trench coat. Yes, ma'am. Um, yes, ma'am. If you can see this side, I have to get the pocket fixed. I ripped the pocket out one night, um, but that's an easy fix. Can you see it? The pocket on this side is just to be uh, sewed up. This one's perfectly fine though. Can you see it? Okay. Yes, got this at shopgoodwill.com a few years ago. It is, again, Christian Dior Monster. Um, Christian Dior. Um, it also came with the shell, so I can wear the shell if it gets a bit more cold, but obviously that's not happening here. I actually have worn this once here already. I wore it to um, a dentist appointment because it was raining. Go figure. So I would say this is the good outfit for during the daytime. Um, running errands, grabbing a quick coffee, um, you know doing all the things that you need to do with a, obviously a new angle. So we are starting off with a little Farragawa moccasin, honey. A little something cheap on the budget. <laughs> honey, athleisure. We have, I'm an Adidas girl, Adidas, Adidas girl. I thought that the shirt tucked in with this worked. And then obviously Love First, J. Crew by the um, Human Rights Campaign, I believe. And then of course we had to class it up a little bit with, um, this is by the brand Laurel. I believe it's a Dutch brand. I'm not 100% sure. Um, it's a tweed jacket. I believe the designer from here used to work for, uh, Chanel and Karl Lagerfeld. And then obviously we topped it off with another pair of Gucci sunglasses. These ones are a bit goofy looking, you know, the rounded effect to give it a little character. And then obviously, um, I don't have my wedding ring, it's downstairs, but I topped it off with the trucker hat to give it a little bit more casual look. What do you guys think? I could definitely see people wearing this. Um, like I said, to grab a quick coffee in the morning to the airport. Obviously, that's a, it's a good one to wear to the airport. You know you're always on my mind. I think about you all the time. You know you're always on my mind. I think about you all the time. All right, everyone, and this is the final outfit. What do you think? Can't you see? You're the only medicine that I need. My remedy. So, firstly, I again have all my Ferragamos black leather moccasins. Duh. All right, then we threw on jean shorts. Now, you could also put on jeans with this. I think that would even be cute. If you had on um, like jeans that came to here and had frays at the bottom, that would be even better. Um, striped shirt, you know, this one is cream and black. It looks black and white, cream and black, you get it. Um, and then a jacket. I also have a suede jacket. This is the same cotton one. I have a suede one um, that would look 
really good on top of this as well, but I don't know where it's at, of course. Now, we did add some more texture, this time with the corduroy hat. This one is from Gap Factory. Again, Gucci sunglasses, as you can see. Um, this t-shirt here is Cashmere Blend, darling, from J. Crew. You don't have to have the same one, but it's soft. Quality. H&M, Airpistol, J. Crew, Gap, Gucci, Airpistol, Ferragamo, and then Skin, honey. Jurgens. Skin by Jurgens. Jurgens sponsor me. The Brown Clarks. You know what I mean? Or you can obviously spice it up with some boots, you know. Clunky boots are all the rage. I wish these were a bit more platform. I've had these for a while. They don't look that worn though. They are Calvin Klein. Love the shit kick around these motherfuckers. All right, everyone, I wanna thank you again so much for watching this video. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Please, my gosh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Have you seen anything this fabulous in a long time? You haven't. I think about you all the time Cause you're the only medicine that I need